Hello and welcome to Picking Principles. I just received a package in the mail from Lockpick World. I got these warded lockpicks, a little set, let me open them up. And it comes with five different warded lockpicks. These last two look very similar, just the arms on this one are shorter. Hmm. They're much larger than I thought they'd be, and they're pretty sturdy too. Nice. And this Claw Master Pick Set Tooling System. Let's see what's inside there. Oh, well, looks like that came apart and probably when Customs opened it. Oh, let's see. Oh, man. It's actually quite nice. One, two, three spots on each. So one, two, three, four, five. So it's 15 piece. It looks like wafer lock pick set. And um, this must be the little uh, tensioning wrench that keeps a window open so that you can get in with your lock picks. Well, I don't have any wafer locks yet. I'll put those away later properly. I'll take a look at them. Can't wait to get at some wafer locks now. And in the meantime, let's take a look at this. You may recall in the past me showing you in a set of locks I got this little Master 55 aluminum padlock. It turns out that it's a lever lock or what I'm assuming is a warded lock, especially based on this key. I've seen Bosnian Bill just get a variety of different wires and kind of fish it through and try to open up stuff like this. In fact, I've seen a couple of people open this exact lock on the internet. Uh, there's still some things I'd like to show you that are worth pointing out. This little window right here, this is just a spinner. You see, you can spin it freely. There's nothing to catch on to. It just turns. I don't know the purpose of it, except to occupy space and maybe to prevent you from getting some access in there. I don't really know. And it's a two lever lock. This and this pin, this uh, these two longer pins right here. This, this one and this one, I believe are the two that actuate the levers and actually lift them in order to spring the locking mechanism. I think this third pin right here is simply a stop. So when I insert this key, then you can see it pokes out the back a little bit. See that? And give it a spin. And there's a lot of resistance right there. And then the lock snaps open. When I look inside, you can see that bar, which I don't have access to. And then these two items right here, I believe are just the spring loaded plates or levers that I have to lift. Now when I put the key in again, you can see them move. See, they just move backwards. So they're connected down to the bottom, spring loaded lever action. Now I've tried picking this with wire, but I don't really have any wire. I'd like to maybe take apart a windshield wiper and see if I can use that. But I've been waiting to see something like this. Now it's, it's, hmm, I wonder if this will just activate the whole thing. Let's see. No, they don't quite reach. Maybe they reach and they don't hit it properly. That one doesn't do the trick. Let's try the next one in line. Well, lots of resistance, but... Oof, thought I broke it. Nope, not hitting there. That's the short arms one though. Let's see if the long arms one will do it. Nope. 
it's getting blocked up at the back and these front prongs here don't go in deep enough to spin. Running out of options. That also won't spin. Just a little too big, it feels like. I've got it way up in the top of the key there, and I think I'm missing the lever. That one's even shorter, so I don't think it's going to work. No, that just spins and misses those levers entirely. All right, I think I've figured that out. Maybe I come up top. Hmm. No, I'm really putting a lot of pressure on that, much more than I do when I have the key. And it's not spinning. So once again, this little Master 55 is turning out to be the most secure lock that I have as far as picking goes. I'm sure that there's an easy way to do it. I just haven't found it. This is the one that was too big. Yeah, it won't even spin. Well, I can't say I'm happy about that. So there are my warded lock picks. And there is the most secure lock in my collection. This little Master 55 that I can't get opened with a tensioning tool, a bobby pin, a pick. I don't know. I don't know how to get at this one. I'm going to have to get that wiper, wiper blade. See if I can bend it and give it a shot. Maybe I'll head back to the internet and see what other people are doing. But I know people have just been poking around. Maybe I just don't have any wire that's sturdy enough. Anyway, this has been a disappointing episode of Picking Principles. Uh, please subscribe if you um, like what you see on this channel. And I would really appreciate some comments, maybe some feedback, some help about how I can get into this Master 55 non-destructively. And maybe also some advice on where these warded lock picks might come in handy. Anyway, that's everything I've got for you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.